What's up everybody? Big Hurt, Prison Spreads, back again. Chef Big V in the house. Sup, sup. Putting it down. Big V, what we have today, man? What you have going on? We're gonna cook some uh, burritos here. We're gonna make, you know, four of them, but uh, chicken burritos. So we're using all the, we're using all the ingredients that we would be using, you know, in there. So you're probably asking why we're using Tupperware because we don't have real, uh, you know, plates and stuff in there, so we, we're keeping it as real as we can, okay, so. Uh, and these, these are valuable in prison, huh, be the big. Oh yeah, these right boys. here, so yeah. they sell them in some spots, some spots they sell them, some spots they don't, but like this right here. The big ones are. I mean, someone comes walking the yard with one of these, like, you you can even lend this out to people. Yeah, like, they yeah. actually, hey, let me borrow that, I'll give you two stamps or a stamp, whatever yeah. the case may be, but, and they better clean it good, you know, you don't clean no it No stains good, up in there, don't bring it back with stains. Yeah, don't bring it back with stains. Yeah. Or, Better shoot out twenty dollars, which back then was four books. A book was five dollars, I think it was. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Back then, I don't know what it is now, but anyhow, we got. I put these in. So, so what? You put them in the, um, hot water. Okay. Uh, I do like this because some joints they don't have uh, microwaves, so you have microwaves in some, and some you don't. I mean, even the ones like uh, it was brought up to my attention. Uh, I was on the phone the other day with one of my boys and he was like, yeah, remember the the microwaves and stuff, how everybody used to be in line, you remember that? Mm -hmm. Like he was telling me about that. And uh, in there, they got like one microwave. Let me use this lid right here. Okay. They got one microwave um, per unit. So you got, let's just say a few hundred inmates in that unit and you got all these people using the microwave almost the same time as you, so you got all these bowls just lined up, and you can't skip. You, I mean, you gotta wait. You gotta, if you see ten bowls lined up, and keep in mind those aren't one minute. Some of them bowls they're gonna be there for seven minutes, ten <coughs> minutes, fifteen minutes, but you you gotta wait in line. What happens if you skip? If you try to jump? Oh man, you try to jump someone. It depends whose bowl that is. So. <laughs> I mean that shit could turn into a riot, you know, between over a fucking two cars, yeah. two cars, you know. So yeah, it's just you, you gotta know, respect you don't the food. I'm doing. I'm putting this in this bag. I'm gonna cook the bread in here. So. Show and now, that B, B, where would you get these bags from if you were these right there? Like I used to work medical. Um, some of the people that worked in, uh, they do. They work in the units. They clean around. Uh, they have these, but sometimes they give them like so many. Uh, they'll give them like a roll, the uh, CO will give them a roll. So, so long as they use the same bag as, you know, two days ago, whatever, the inmates, they recycle that, then they keep that bag and they sell these bags to the inmates. You mm -hmm. know, so they, you know, this right here could go for a stamp. You know, and he got a roll of 25. Wow. And that 25, the CO will think that's 25, uh, you know, days come for another roll, but I mean, he might. They'll go there, but he saved 10 of those, so he kind of recycled them. That's a hustle. That's what they asked. So these bags, you save them too. So what we're going to do here is uh, we have some cheese. First of all, we're going to cut this. I want to show you guys how we grate the cheese and everything. So move this out of the way real quick. Here's the cheese here. Of course, this is our grater. Now, how would you get holes in the grater? Once again, it depends where you're at. Some people work at a machine shop. Um, what they do is you you pay them. I mean, they're risking they're risking it. They're gonna take this in there. It could be a piece of metal, whatever, and they drill holes in it. They bring it back to you, so they might charge you, you know, ten dollars for that. But it all depends. Like this one, uh, you see how it grades the cheese, just just like a grater. None. We just gotta make use of what we have. But I already got some grated cheese here. Just want to show you guys how how we do it, okay. and then move this out of the way. We got the bell peppers here, so we put that together. Once again, we use the same the grater. Also doubles as a, as a cutter. There you go. See, you got to sharpen this every once in a while in your room during the day. You try to sharpen shit like this at night, motherfucker, my tail on you. <laughs> and you got the CO hitting you up in the middle of your seat. Sleep, you know, they don't know what you were sharpening, but this can be used as a tool. I mean, just like slice, slice, slice open uh, someone's neck. Some, so that's how they look at it. So it's contraband. You go to the hole, 
Yeah, they catch you with that. A month, whatever. They know people have them, but you know, it just depends on what CO's on and what kind of time he's on, because they know people cook with shit like this. Yeah, and then you got some people. I, I won't say that they're acting. They act scary or whatever, but uh, some people don't. They know that you have this, so they ask you to borrow it. And some people are, yeah. you know, cool. They'll let you borrow it. They didn't borrow your knife, whatever. Because if not, they'll be stuck, you know, tearing this with their fingers or something, or, you know, with a plastic fork or something. Now, where would you get the, um... I mean, a plastic knife. The bell pepper, where would you get this from? Bell peppers, you get them from the kitchen. Um, there's, I think there was one spot that actually sold them on commissary, but if not, you get them from the kitchen. They bring them in. You know, they carry them in. Wouldn't a lot of the kosher meals have these in them, so sometimes they'll do, you hit them oh, up. Oh, yeah. Remember the kosher, the kosher meals? Yeah. So that's uh vegetables. Yeah, vegetables they would sell those. Everything everything would Vegetables sell. are actually a hot commodity in prison, man, because you know you got guys who don't who want to eat healthy, so they'll actually pay for your vegetables. Yep. So fresh vegetables. Yeah, and they'll sell them and those guys that are that sell their vegetables, I mean they need the money or they trade those things for like sneakers or something. So everything got a price in there, man. But these bell peppers, I, I like them. I used to use them all the time. I buy them. I make my money back anyways. You know, if I cook some burritos for, for a group, I make I make sure to make my money back if I buy these from the store. Man, I already had my plug. You know, they brought me uh, stuff, and I have to buy from him every week. You know, I just can't tell him, hey, bring me this because he'll he'll risk. You know, he'll he'll risk his time. And you know, if he brings it to me every Tuesday and I really don't need it, then I just gotta buy it from him. It's, yeah. like, it's like contracts. So. Remember, remember when the dudes always bring us the, uh, the steak meat? When every time we had a steak up in there? Yeah. Shit, oh, man. man. No, that good. shit was like fucking gourmet, man. Yeah. So chicken, you get what on Wednesdays and yep. Sundays? I think yep. it was. Cause we really never yeah. had no steak in the damn uh, on the meals. So they'd be stealing all the damn steak. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that right there came from the kitchen. Okay, they don't want to do it in. Uh, Gloves, because that's what they use when they're handling the food in there, so they put that. But they actually write, wrap it like two times, and then in the bag, like like this, they'll wrap it up. And then they'll carry it over here. So a lot of people think, you know, when they say, oh, man, you got, you know, meat from the nut sack. Nah, it ain't from the nut sack, man. It just, it's, it was there, but it's, it's not touching the nut sack, man, so don't get it twisted. Ain't nobody gonna eat shit like that, man. And you're not keistering chicken to you dummies out there. <laughs> ain't nobody putting a glove of chicken in their butthole. So yeah, so this comes from the kitchen too. Onion. Once again, there's some spots that sell onion. I already cut this up, but I put it in a bag here. That's how it gets transported back to back to there. So we're gonna mix everything. Our chicken. Once again, they only do it on uh, uh, Wednesdays and Sundays if I'm yeah. on that steak. Fried chicken day. What Wednesday? We're or talking or? about the fish. Yeah. yeah. I don't really know about uh, the steak. But uh, the feds, we're talking in regards to the feds, and you want to make sure you get every piece. And I know a lot of you guys be wanting to know, like, oh man, you know, you guys, are you guys talking about the state of the feds? Well, we was in the feds together, and this is how we got out. Like he said, state, they might get out a little bit different, but um, this is our program. And me and Chef V, we cooked together for quite a few years, so. So we're going to mix all this together. Put everything in together. So on average, how long would it take you to prep a meal like this? Uh, maybe about an hour. About an hour yeah. or more, like because all the cutting. Huh? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you know we'll we'll make uh, like on holidays or something on the weekends, you know, Fridays, and then we t we make something big because a lot of people eat, so a lot of people are in it, and you know it takes a long time. You want someone there looking out for you, and and uh, just in case, because you don't want the CEOs to come in and catch you. You know, with with the razor or anything like that. So, yeah, but, uh, that's the way. and then a lot of times I for, we forgot to mention, man, you have somebody they're coming around to the sales, popping you know, and sometimes it's randomly. You want to have somebody looking out while you're cooking, so they don't just run up on you and you got all these, you know, razors out, cutters out, yeah, shit yeah. like that. And if you the person keep a point, if they ain't on point, they they might be liable to get a a wig split. <laughs> yeah, because you let a homie get caught up. Yeah, sometimes um. You know, it takes a while to cook, so you, you just, you know, you sit there and, you know, you grab some cookies, whatever, and uh, that's why you snack on while you're cooking or something, you know, or... We'll we call those little together. appetizers. Yeah, little appetizers or, you know, some uh, summer sausage with some 
uh, pieces of uh, mozzarella cheese on some on some you know crackers. Like I used to kind of get people appetizers while they waited uh, back east. A lot of them Italians, man, that I used to cook for there. They're like they like to eat. They want okay. What you got? They want an appetizer. They want the main dish, and then they want you know. Uh, they want dessert and shit. I wasn't really yeah. big on dessert. They want like a three course meal. Yeah, man. Let me tell you, can eat and they had money to pay, so hey, why not? Too, I remember somebody too made a comment about, oh, uh, you cooking for somebody, somebody's little bitch. Nah, nigga, you ain't nobody <laughs> bitch when you cooking for somebody. You making money, you hustle, motherfucker. A lot of you ain't got no fucking hustle, so you be up in there just looking to get a free meal. V had a fucking hustle, so just because you cook for somebody, you was slanging it, it don't make you nobody's bitch, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just funny the way people think, but yeah, yeah. I mean, my hustle was Ain't never been on the main line nowhere, motherfucker. Uh, you know, stuff like that, but uh... Now where would you get the butter from? The butter would come from the, uh, the kitchen too. That right there, they use a lot of butter in the kitchen, so we would get it from uh, the kitchen. You know, a stick, I, I think a stick would cost me about... Oh man, it cost me about three stamps. You know, back, back east it cost me three stamps, so... Butter is real important. That's the only thing that we can use, especially when you're making burritos or we're gonna make them so they won't stick together. Or else you're gonna get just a whole bunch of soggy shit and it sticks together. But we're gonna make these burritos in here. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna put this tortilla one in here. Then we use the cheese here. Now to put it inside, I use this fork. You spread it on the tortilla a bit. So this the order in which you usually always did it the same way usually? Yeah. Okay, so actually, put the cheese on butter, first. I put a little bit of this cheese in there. And actually I'm gonna use uh I forgot to butter the bag up, but see how I do that. That was my thing. Normally I uh my glove at. I had a glove. I'm gonna use the same glove, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. That's alright, I'll use this one. Okay. So what you're doing, man, you use Use it, you know, you work with what you got. So this right here, we just rub it in there real quick. Kind of adds flavor to it too, so. You got the people in there, man, that's a lot of butter, man. Don't matter, prison, most of the majority of people, 80% of people work out. They burn all this shit off, man. That's right. And yeah, if you notice, you always puts on a glove. That's that's good hygiene up in there. You ain't yeah, using your, your hands you know, and shit. Yeah, normally I have uh, gloves on all the time. You know, it depends like who you're cooking for. Once again, I'm gonna throw a little rice on here. Use that fork. This rice was already uh, pre-cooked. And that's rice you this. can pick up on commissary, right? Yeah, the rice you can pick up on commissary. You make rice however you want, you know what I mean? I like to put a lot of meat in, in these. And we're gonna get the cheese that we grated with our utensil. Put some in there. Oh, can't be stingy with it. There you go. And you know what I forgot too, but I'm gonna, in fact, I'm gonna do this. What I forgot to show you guys too. Cause I had a lot of spice to this already. Have you seen the chicken was already deboned and everything? But this is ramen noodle chicken. Normally, people they buy it just for the flavoring. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll just do the rest. Remember, remember, dudes used to just uh, damn near give away the noodles. Remember, they had a big thing of noodles. The dudes just had the packs. Yeah, just yeah. They, they buy them for the pack. So you know, wherever whatever they cost, wherever they're at. I mean, you're talking about he just spent uh, a dollar or. Or some just for the seasoning. You know, in some spots they sell seasoning, so you put on the glove again. <coughs> Mix it all up real quick again. Add some flavor. So it'll be three of them there. Save that glove just in case. Okay, so pinch these, roll that up real quick. Boom, it already has some butter on it, see that? So that makes it stick, huh? Well, no, it just don't, it, it don't, it stops it from sticking to the bag or the bag. Okay. It, and it adds, like, once again, it adds a flavor. So, I'm going to put some cheese on this again. Making these things right. 
but at the end, the end result is going to be vicious. Yeah, I remember Eagle burrito, man. Yeah, and everybody makes burritos like their own way. Some people just use, uh, some people just make burritos out of um, just soup and, 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 and beans. Yeah. You know, yeah. and cheese, you know, the people right. they can't afford all this stuff. All so the meat and stuff. All and the meat and everything, because all this, most, the majority of this comes from the kitchen. They use beef logs, you know. Oh, make that thing cheesy. And you know what? The other one I forgot too, but this is my kick. Yeah, yeah. This is my kick. You know, you right know, here. you know, uh, bit off of this. You see, Taco Bell got the burritos now. And they got oh, the. Oh man, yeah. yeah. You know the what? Burrito burritos, man. I see this that shit right man. here. I don't want to say I invented it because it's been years, but I put some videos with you. But that's what Taco Bell does, man. Yeah. They they. They took over. And it sells, meal. yeah. So someone gave them that idea, but they didn't get paid for it. You see the burritos, man, there? They ain't no joke. They're big. Big boy burritos, man, right here. Take my glove again. I'm going to put some butter on this. Top of it. Right there. Can't be stingy with the butter. No. Take it. But yeah, like, you know, uh, Normally we're making this stuff, so <clears throat> we're gonna boil it here in some hot water. But when you're done with this, you'll see how we wrap it up. Then you give it to the guy, you know, that has a, the sting or so. Uh, they charge about a stamp, two stamps to cook your food. There we got a, a mop bucket set up, whatever. Uh, maybe a, a, a five gallon bucket. It depends, once again, where you're at, so. Mm -hmm. If they have access to? Yeah, so uh, they. to me it's like, you know, one dollar, maybe in some uh, other episodes, I'm going to show you guys. We're going to bring the mop bucket to you guys, and we're going to do the whole thing. We're going to cook it. We're going to go live. I mean, we're going to yeah. do it like they do it in there, man. So They don't know about that mop bucket. Yeah. Put the stinger in there. But for right now, we're doing it like this. <clears throat> now, add some cheese. You see, I, I'm uh, telling you, they love the cheese, man. Everybody loves cheese, though. And you got some people that don't want to eat cheese, okay, it's fine, but I still charge it the same. <laughs> I still charge it the same. <laughs> don't change the price. Yeah. So this right here, this meal right here, four burritos, you know what I mean? And normally it's one dude that'll eat this. Or, you know, maybe uh, it's two people, they share two each, and then they got something on the side. I'll cook some rice or some beans or something on the side for them. But um, for the majority, like they'll, right here, I'll charge them 10 bucks for this. Probably. Because of everything that I buy, everything in bulk, it probably cost me, you know, maybe three dollars because I buy in bulk. You know, so you break things. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm only using um, four tortillas, and there's a pack of twelve or ten. Once again, it depends where you're at. <coughs> That's gonna cost you maybe what a dollar fifty, two dollars, mm -hmm. something like that. So I just charge a you know certain price. Uh, you know, ten dollars for something like this, so and they pay. And it depends on you know. Sometimes they come in, they're in a hurry, and they say, "Oh man, can you cook this?" It's last minute thing. You know, I gotta pay someone to look out. I gotta mm -hmm. pay the the stinger guy. So you know, I say, you know what, I can't do nothing, but you know, I, I charge you fifteen dollars. All right, let's rock. Let's go then. There ain't nothing. I'll cook it up if I had it out. I'll, I'll cook it again. That's no different than fast food on the street. You want it now? It's gonna cost you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let me see. We're gonna use all this. Put a little bit of chicken here. And if you remember, remember the guy. Um, sometimes you'd have um, the cleanup person, and, and for cleaning up, he, he might get a burrito just for doing yeah, all the dishes. Yeah, <laughs> man, remember that? The dishes. He's is like, oh, I'll do all the dishes for for a burrito. Yeah, man. When you you know, you're using these dishes like you're you're talking about going in the uh, you know mop closet and uh. using that. Uh, washing all your dishes and stuff or you know the little sink that you got in the in the cell you use that and that sink was that sink is like man, It's about as small as this bag right here. So no water pressure. Yeah, none whatsoever So you're, you're hit, but you know hey, you'll do it for some food and you ain't got nothing but time What we're gonna do too is Since this is the second one here We're gonna wrap, we're gonna throw some on here too. Just a little bit here, little crumbs. Go 
little crumbs. I like using the Cheetos because, you know, it's cheese. Cheese, yeah, you get a nice little taste, huh? Yeah. And we'll put this here. You see how some of them, they have butter because I put some on top. That's why I put them on top of the other ones because when you put it on, you put the other tortilla on top of the ones that are already made and I put butter, it automatically puts butter on both of them. So, there we go. And you know what we need is a piece of paper, man. Piece of paper? Yes, piece of paper. Right, be right back. And the reason why we use a piece of paper, I'll show you why. We're going to make a straw out of it so that we can suck all the air out of this thing because you don't want to, if you try, you can try to smash it and get all the air out of it, but it's still going to have some. So you and it'll float to the top. Once again, um, when you put in the stingers and stuff, you don't want no air in your bag. We might be able to double wrap it with this one, but yeah, straws are hard to come by. And I just straws, like I used to sell the straws sometimes. Um, I worked in a, a medical, so when when they used to come in, um, like the people that worked there, the dentist, the doctor, whatever, they bring in their food and you know they have a soda or something from Burger King or wherever the place may be and they have a, a little straw and they just throw it in the garbage to them that's garbage to us it's something so right here we don't have that you have this you don't want to pay a stamp for two stamps for a straw you have this you normally take a, a stamp that you already have you put it here you put it there you put it here and you close it all up but we'll be able to do it with this <clears throat> suck the air out of the thing Getting all the air up out of there. Boom. See that? Suction. Now how long does it have to cook now? <laughs> Suck the little Cheeto through that straw real quick. This <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> will cook about 10 minutes. About cook about 10 minutes or so. And you tell the, the, the guy you just go over there, you hand him the, the stamp and tell him to cook it. You best not take no food over there and not have no stamp. It ain't, it, you know, it's not like, hey, I'll be right back. Nothing like that. But take your stamp with you. Your food ain't getting cooked. But before you even start cooking, you know, you better have that stamp. Normally, I do that too, and I just charge the stamp uh, to the people that I'm cooking for that are paying me to cook. Oh, for the heating up the... Yeah, just everything. They, they, they already know, you know, it's a headache. So I'm just double wrapping this just in case... I'm you know, using all of it. I'm gonna drop this in over here real quick. And our water that we already have boiling. I'm gonna let that sit for like 10 minutes or so. Burritos are done now. V, how long did they have to cook? You said they cooked for about 10 minutes in there. Okay. okay. So we're gonna go ahead and open, open them up. And then you're gonna see the, the end product here. So we're gonna dress them up. We're gonna dress them up a bit. Purposes, huh? Yeah, we're gonna take it out of here, and I'm gonna put it in there because normally when I serve the food to people, like you know, when they come pick it up, or I let them know, hey, you know, go ahead and swing by the cell. Your food's ready. So, is presentation important? Uh, for me, it was. So, we're gonna go ahead and take this. We'll just dress up two of them, and see those, those ones. See that cheese? Man, it looks good. It just added flavor that those chips. I mean, the chips ain't gonna melt nothing like that. And this is the same bag we're using. So once again, we put a little bit on top. Throw some of this after. As the glove we're using, gotta use everything all day. So do this real quick. Check that out. <laughs> All right, we already got yeah, we already got the chili garlic in there. But keep in mind, it's all about I want this spread all over me. It's all about presentation for me. I mean, for me, it was you don't want a big old spoon in there. You already got a lot of this on there, so okay. And you go ahead and sprinkle it. Like E40 sprinkling, man. <laughs> there you go. Boom. There you go. So, we get the little fork here. Because you know we got to give it that taste. Or a spoon. 
Actually, you know what? Let me cut it with this so you can see the inside of it. So you can see that cheese and everything melting inside there. You can see the steam coming off of there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try this little piece here real quick. Yeah. Go get them. Let me see. Woo! See what you're working with here. <laughs> no joke right here. So we that's what we do, man. That's what we do, that's how we get we out. Work, we work with what we got, we make it happen. Chef Big B. Survival. <laughs>